Okay, so I'm going to take you through on how to make a very simple castle inside Blender 3D. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to keep the cube. Let's go into edit mode with tab. Let's go to wireframe, wireframe mode with Z. And I'm going to use the circle select tool to select these top vertices, only the top ones. Then you want to delete it. So X, delete vertices. Now we're left with nothing but a plane. So go ahead and select that plane. I'm going to go to top view. And I want you to uh, scale it out in the X until it's long enough. We're going to make the front wall. So once you've done that, go to edge select mode. And then select these two edges right here. Don't select the outer ones, it's just the long ones. Then we're going to subdivide this. So. With those two edges selected, go to W and subdivide, and then F6. And number of cuts, we're going to go to the maximum amount, which is 10. Okay, so you can see it subdivided that plane 10 times. So now, select each one of the outer edges on both sides. I'm using the edge select tool. You can also use... Well, no, just, just stick with the edge select tool. Okay, so when you have those selected, we're going to want to extrude, right click so we keep the vertices there, then scale in the Y. I'm in top view so you can see the top. And once it's out a little bit, click and place it, then we'll have this kind of shape right here. Okay, now I'm going to go to face select mode and then solid mode with Z. I'm going to get rid of these two sidebars so I have more room. And I want to select each one of these faces on both sides, every other face. Oops. Okay, I want to switch to front view. Uh, okay, front view. And once you have those faces selected, we're going to want to extrude up. So E, I want it to be straight. Uh, by default it's straight, if not, just press Z and it'll keep it straight. And once you pull it up a little bit, click to place it and we'll have this type of shape right here. Okay. So once we have that, we want to go back to edge select mode. Then we want to select those edges again. We're going to pull the wall down. So select each one of those edges on both sides, both sides. Okay, I have, I think I have these one, yeah. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm gonna go back to front view. Like I said, we're gonna pull the wall down, so press E to extrude, then press Z to keep it straight, and we're just gonna pull it down. I think that's high enough. And have our wall. I'm going to pull mine up above the grid. Okay. So now we want to make the pillars on the side over here and over here. They're going to be circular, so I'm going to position my cursor so it's right here in the middle. So to do that, if I just want to move my 3D cursor, I'm going to select where I want it to go. Shift S and cursor to selected, and our 3D cursor goes right there. Now I'm in top uh, top mode view, top view, and I want to add a circle. So Shift A, circle, and I'm going to change the number of vertices to 24. So go to F6 and vertices 24, 24. Enter. I'm going to pull this out a little bit and scale it a little bit. So first thing we're going to do is extrude and scale it inside. So make sure you have the ring selected, only this ring. Press E for extrude, right click to keep the vertices there, and then scale down with S. And right there should be fine. Okay, we also have to create the floor. So let's extrude again and scale in a little bit, but we're just going to merge all these vertices to the center. So to do that, make sure you have this ring selected. If not, 
just go ahead and select it. We want to go to W and merge. And what that will do is it will merge all those vertices into the center. There. Okay, now we want to select the outer ring. Let's go to front view. I'll eventually pull this up, uh, pull this entire mesh up. But for now, once we have that outer ring selected, we're going to pull it down just like we did with the wall over here. So press E for extrude and Z to go straight down. And let's go ahead and move it up. So select this entire mesh with the L. And then I'm going to grab and move it in the Z. Let's go to wireframe mode. Let's grab the top ring and then pull that down a little bit. Uh, we'll play around with this a little bit later, but let's go ahead and finish the top. So select each one of these on the outer ring circle every two. And once you have that, we're going to do the same thing we did over here on the wall. We're going to extrude up. So press E for extrude and then pull it up into Z. And you can kind of see how it's taking form. Okay, so once you have that, I actually kind of want my base right here to go out a little bit, kind of have like a circular thing. But I only want it to start about like right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to subdivide this cylinder. So while in wireframe mode, select all these edges right here. I'm in edge select mode. And then we're going to subdivide it. We're only going to subdivide it once. So press W and subdivide. And it subdivides it. And I'm going to go to vertex mode and select that ring. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. And then I'm going to grab the bottom ring. Then I'm going to scale it out a little bit. That'll give me that circular feel I'm looking for at the base. And if we want this, uh, this, this level of vertices level with this one, all we have to do is uh, press in for this toolbar over here, and we can see that the Z is at negative 8.74301 so we can copy this value copy we can highlight this and we can paste paste in that value for Z and it will keep it level so it's already centered so I'm going to move it over so it's inside that wall now I'm, all, I'm also going to put one over here so we can just duplicate this one with shift D I'm going to grab in the X and just move it so it's so that we have some on both sides. So this will be a very simple castle. So we'll just duplicate this wall, well this entire mesh. With Shift D. We'll keep it straight with Y. We'll move it. We'll also have by doing that we have the back. move mine a little bit more okay so we also need to make the walls for this side and this side we're just going to use this the same wall we made earlier I'm going to go to face face mode select that <clears throat> I'm just going to duplicate shift D I want to rotate by 90 so press R and then type in 90 And I'll show you how to center those in a bit. Okay, so make sure you go in. We're going to have to have one over here too. So just go in and duplicate that one and move it over here. Okay, to get them uh, perfectly centered, what we're going to do is the same thing we kind of did with the, the leveling. This right here is the perfect center. So we're going to take this X value and copy it and tell this tell these walls to go to that X value. So for this one. We'll take this X value right here. We're going to copy it. And then we'll select this entire wall right here with L. And we're just going to tell the X to go right there. We're just going to paste in the X and it's perfectly centered. So we'll do the same thing with this side. Copy the X. Select this wall. Paste and it's perfectly centered.
Okay, so let's go and add a door right here. So one thing I always do whenever I'm doing something like adding a door where I can potentially accidentally select other vertices, I like to hide objects. So to hide something, all we have to do is select what we want to hide. So if I want to hide this entire like uh, column right here, you can just select it with L and then press H for hide. You can also do it with a specific vertices. So if I wanted to hide this these four vertices at face, I can just press H and it'll hide it, but I want to get rid of all these. Not get rid of them, but just hide them with H. To reveal them, just press W and reveal. So, but I want to keep them hidden, so, so I can put in my door. So, okay, I'm in front view now, and I want the door to be on this face right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to wireframe mode and select these two edges right here and subdivide those. Well, it's not two, it's actually four, because we're in wireframe. It's front and back. So press W and subdivide once. Okay, now it's perspective mode. Okay, so now what we can do is just get rid of these faces. Front and back. Okay, and then we also have to make faces right here for the opening. So let's grab these edges. You can also use the vertices, but edges are probably easier. Okay, that door is really thin, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these vertices. I'm in vertex select, uh, select mode. Pull that down a little bit. I'm going to grab this entire thing and scale it in the X. Then we have a door. Okay, now I want to reveal everything so I can have all my other uh, pieces back. So push press W and reveal. And now everything's back. We have a very basic castle. I'm going to change my shading to smooth as I always do. And it seems like we have some surface normal issues. Let's go to texture mode. Yeah, it seems like almost everything is. So I'm just going to uh, select all with A and then Control N. And in most cases, Control N will fix everything. And in this case, it did. Uh, if not, you would just manually select each face like this. And it's just go to W and flip normal. So, of course, that one was pointing the right way. So, in the event that we had to do it manually, we would just select the face, W, flip normal, and it'll fix it. And that's how to make a very simple castle inside Blender.